we hop in and we press one and there we go we're far out of the vault hey how's it going spy here this is episode two of our community build of our fallout shelter now i looked at a bunch of the comments there was a ton I didn't expect there to be over 250 to 300 comments in such a short period of time and that's awesome but one thing is I can't get to every comment in the suggestions. I mostly picked the ones that were suggested multiple times but I also added a bunch more things to the shelter so we're going to go inside and check out what I did. I didn't build too much just some of the more difficult things. So we're going to wait for this to open up and we're going to walk right in. And as you can see, as we enter here, I added some of these rails to the um, entrance to the follow shelter. It looks pretty good. I like it. All right. And then we're going to go down the elevator. It's going to close. And here we go. And once we enter the bottom here, you will see that there is a lot more improvements since last time we played. As you could see, the hallway here is a little more decorated. I kind of changed the color scheme a little bit, not too much. We got some pipes here. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with that color. The color looks decent, but I'm not sure. Then we got another big room here. I think what this room is going to be is it's going to be a medical room. As uh, once the survivors enter the shelter, they're going to have to go here for an assessment and maybe a decontamination. I'm not sure. We might have a decontamination chamber up there because that seems more logical. But we're going to build this as a medical room now oh, I forgot some painting there but that's fine okay and then over here what we got is we're gonna add a generator room here so we can power our shelter now that's not the actual case yet as there is no need for power in this game other than just electric engines and then in here I think we're gonna add like a kitchen and a dining room for the survivors like a little mess hall that seems pretty good and then over here, what we got is another hallway leading to another big room. Now, I think I'm going to split this off into two, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in here yet, but we're going to get back to that. Okay. And then over here, as you can see on the ground, there is this little um, box here, but we'll get to that in a bit. Now, if you guys have any suggestions for things I haven't gotten to yet in this episode, please leave them in the comments. But please wait for the end of the video just in case I do get to them. Now, I'm not sure if I want to stick with the layout for the color and if I want to add more things. I got a little vent system here. Not that big yet. I may add one underneath the base. All right. So I did something with the secret door here. I'm just going to open it up. There we go. And as you can see, as we enter, it's saying warning farm bots. Now, there's no farm bots back here. That's just a warning to scare away people who aren't supposed to be in here. Okay. And then as you can see here, we got another little elevator. We're going to go up that elevator. And it's going to lead us to a secret little entertainment room. But it's more of a room for the higher ups to spy or monitor the fallout shelter. Now we got a control panel here. And I'm actually going to press one of the buttons here. That one. And that's going to do something later on. And then over here we got some game consoles. Because, you know, we might need to... Um, uh, entertain ourselves while there's nothing to do. <laughs> okay, and over here we got a like little kitchen. There's a radio. Now I don't trust these radios because if you guys followed my uh, scrap mechanic series right when I started out, this radio station allows farm bots to communicate with you. We'll get to that in a second. Listen to some soothing jazz while we wait. I don't know what he just said, but as you can see, the, the farm bots try to communicate with us. They're trying to scare us. So we're just going to turn that off. It's more so the, for the overseers and the higher ups to listen in. But I don't know if they can locate us with that. But anyways, <laughs> we got this nice wooden table with these nice chairs. And we got a little counter over here. We got no stove because uh, we might as well just steal it from the mess hall. And we got a little uh, uh, cabinet here. But in the fridge, what we got are ducks. But... That's not all that's in the fridge. So we, over here we got a button up top, hiding on a box, and it leads us to another secret entrance. Now we're gonna look on over here, and we got an escape craft. Now this opens the roof, 
we hop in and we press one and there we go we're far out of the vault i've never tested this since um just now oh <laughs> we smacked our heads against the the border but anyways <laughs> essentially if we we do that we're pretty much safe from um robots if we need to escape now the vault's all the way over there i don't know how i'm gonna get back <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. There we go. Now it's reset. Pretty cool. I like it. Let me just hide this again. I don't know if that would um, contaminate the vault if there was radiation, but I don't think they're going to add radiation to the game. It's more of roleplay. So there we go. That is the overseer's um, hideout or just like the higher ups hideout. We're going to press this button again because I shut it off. We're going to go back down. And take a look at the hallway. Now if you guys have any more suggestions for that area up there, please let me know. I don't know if it's complete yet or not. But we're going to take a look in the hallway. What is that? Oh, is that a turret? That button up there in the office or the lounge kind of uh, activated this turret defense system. Now it doesn't actually shoot bullets. It's more for roleplay. Just in case robots get in. Looks pretty good. I like it. I might add more of those throughout the vault, maybe one outside up top of the shelter just in case. If you guys like secret rooms, please let me know because I have a bunch more planned out. Um, this, this vent right here, as you can see, there's a bearing there. That is also a secret room. There is a room in between these two here. I actually didn't re realize that while building that and I figured it out because up top it wasn't painted. And then I was like, oh, there's a secret room. We could probably make that something else later on though. All right, so we're gonna build the generator now in this little generator room. So we're just gonna kind of build a small one here. We're gonna use these beams here to kind of set up the uh, the supports for it. I think they're usually painted black though, like this. Okay. And then we're gonna go over here and find one of these uh, tanks here. I don't know how big these are, really. Um, ah, that fits perfectly. Okay, I like that. We're going to paint this orange or yellow. I think orange would be best. That looks sweet. Okay, I don't, I don't really know how to make generators, but we're going to do our best. So we're going to add a metal piece there. I didn't want to put anything up there because it didn't look natural. And then we're going to just put down a normal uh, electric engine, I think. I don't know what would be best, but electric engine would fit better. Put it there. Add some decorations. Um, guess we could just put some metal here. I'm not the best generator. Decorator. Generator decorator. <laughs> it kind of rhymes. Okay. Put this down right about here. Here. I think that would look good like that. There we go. Now we just got to paint it orange. Kind of looks like a generator, not really, <laughs> but we'll deal with it. Okay, there we go. Looks decent. Okay, uh, we, I guess we can add some pipes coming out of the generator, leading into the wall or something. Now, I don't know the anatomy of generators, so this probably wouldn't work, but you know, it's scrap mechanic. We build what we want. So there we go, we got our generator. Have a little button somewhere to turn it on and off manually. All right, so there's our generator. It is connected to a bearing temporarily. I don't know if I want to power anything with it, but it's more so for look. So here we go. There's our generator. Looks pretty cool. What else can I add to this room? I guess we can have like power cables and such coming out of the generator like that. That looks pretty cool. I like that. And we should color that a certain color though. Um. Huh, what would match this? I guess we could put it yellow. Yeah, it looks decent. Okay, there we go. And then we'll have power cables coming out the side here. Upwards. There we go. And there's our power cables. We need a sign indicating this is hazardous. Alright, so there's our generator room. If you guys have suggestions of what I should add to this, please let me know. Now we're going to continue on to our medical room. Alright, so we're going to start on the medical bay now. So once you enter, you're going to be greeted with a um, 
receptionist who's going to tell you what to do. Usually just sit in the waiting room, but you know this is a follow shelter, you got to be very cautious of what your survivors might have. So we're going to have a little counter here. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, we should paint that some nice colors. There we go. That looks pretty nice. I like that. Okay, and then we're going to have like a little computer here. Now I don't know how to make a computer um, in Scrap Mechanic. Alright, so there we go. We got our little terminal. I guess it could be multi-purpose. You can have like a little uh, scanner here on the back for them to do a little retinal scanner. Um, I don't know. Maybe like that and maybe like a little screw. Does that look decent? Sure. Okay. And we're going to have a little coloring here and we're going to have a little box here to tell them to stand here. So there we go. Now the receptionist will tell them to step up here. I'll do like a little retinal scanner or something to identify them. Make sure they're not a robot spy or a android or something like that. I don't know. Make up some random, ra dumb la random lore. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we need a little chair for the receptionist. We'll maybe have like a little swivel chair or something. There we go. The receptionist now has a chair. It looks pretty good. Now we should have like a little waiting room on the side here. Maybe add a couch. Alright, so there we go, we got a nice little couch. Now we can add like a little uh, coffee table here. Uh, something like, I don't know, something cheap. Something like this. There we go, maybe add some glass in the middle once we get there. Add the glass. There we go, we got a cheap little coffee table. There, so that's our waiting room, pretty small. And now, for the bigger detail, where the doctor does his operations, we'll have like a little entrance to the side here. We'll have like a barrier separating the rooms. So there we go, there's our room. It's pretty much fully painted. And now we're just gonna add like a little operation room in here. Make it a little scary. I am, most of my creations are very influenced by Follow and games like Bioshock. So we're gonna have a nice dark tile look here. Something like this. I think that looks nice for a little operation room. Maybe we should extend that out a bit. So if you guys played Bioshock and you remember the Morig Morig um, level or the hospital levels, those ones freaked me out a lot. So I want to kind of do something like that. Um, maybe we should just stick with white. There you go. I think that looks good. And we'll have... Um, We'll have a separation here. We'll have a door system here, like this. So there we go, we got the doors working. They work on both sides. Looks pretty good. Now we need to make an operating table on the inside. Now there's not much room, so we're just gonna kind of make an old style operating table. I'm gonna go up like this, over like this, it's more like a <laughs> More like a morgue table, but oh well. That looks decent. Okay. And then we need like some decorations on it. Maybe like a little foot pump. That looks cool. I like that. That looks awesome. Then we just got to paint it. We're going to paint it a nice white color. There we go. And this piece here will be a silver. Yeah. All right, there we go. That looks good. There's our operating table. It looks very scary. I wouldn't want to be uh, checked out here by the doctors. <laughs> now, I don't know what else I can add to this room. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I, th I think I like it. Maybe we'll have something in this corner. But if you have any suggestions, let me know. So we got the medical room done for now. Looks all right. And over here, we got our generator room. I like it. All right, so now we're gonna start on the kitchen and the dining room. A lot of people suggested this. And one thing I noticed now is my FPS is very, very choppy. That's because we have a lot of entities in the base. Now that's not gonna really um, be fixable until I get a better computer. But the game is very, uh, it's not the greatestly optimized at the moment, but hopefully in the future they optimize it a little better. 
So we're going to start off with the counter for the dining room. Now we're going to start with wood. We're going to have it start off with concrete right about here. Go up a little bit and it's going to go across like this to right about here. We're going to put it back down with concrete. And we're going to have this piece here concrete. I think that looks decent. Not quite sure. We could add that as wood. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay, and then we're going to have like a little kitchen area back here. Um, cover it with a wall. Maybe add a small door right about here. Actually, we could just leave it open like that because no one's going to really barge in the back. It's a follow shelter. Everyone knows each other. Okay. All right, so behind the counter here, we're going to have a sink and a stove top and maybe a fridge or something underneath the counter. I'm not quite sure. We'll get to that though. So we're gonna make our sink. We're gonna just use concrete in the corner here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, make it half and half because the stove is gonna be pretty big. So there we go, there's our sink. I kind of made it like an industrial sink where it has little leggings down there. And now what we gotta do is we're gonna build the stove. Something similar, but not exactly the same as the sink. Something like this. And back here we'll have the stove top. Now this is going to be painted differently, so we need a darker color around the edges, like this. There we go. It's kind of more like a grill. And I guess we need little dials. We're going to add a little button or a nut. I guess a nut would be better. We're going to have it on the side here, like this. That controls it. Awesome! That looks good. Now usually kitchens have tile blocks, so we're going to change out the floor here. Now hopefully nothing breaks. Alright, so there we go. We got a little kitchen. Looks pretty nice. Now we just got to add like a little uh, fridge in here to store our food. Now I think we're going to add it under the counter. Right about here. It's going to be pretty big. And it should open. There we go. We got a little, um, a little fridge kind of. It looks decent. Okay. Add our food. Ducks. Pretty much the only thing you can really eat. Ducks. There you go. Alright, so now we need to add the tables for the uh, dining room. So there we go. We got the dining room complete. I'm not sure what else I can add, but I'll add some stuff and fix some stuff up in between the episode. Like these stools here, they're not that even. That kind of bothers me. <laughs> so we got rid of the signs too. If you have any suggestions what for what else I should add to these rooms or what I should add to the new rooms, please let me know. If I haven't gotten to your suggestion this episode, I apologize for that. But hopefully I will get to them in the next video. I'm not sure how many more of these I'll make before it starts getting super laggy. I think I'm around 35, 30 FPS per uh, episode, which is decent. I render at 30 FPS, so it's not making too much of a difference. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, please let me know and I'll get to them. If you see ones you like, upvote them and that will most likely help with seeing them. So we got the dining room complete. The generator room complete. I may add more to this as well. The hospital room complete or the medical room. And I also showed you guys the secret room up there, which is pretty awesome. I'm not sure what else I can add to that either. But that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching and subscribing, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next Fallout Shelter community build, and we'll see what we build next episode. So see you guys later. Stay sweet. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs>